Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. It's time to go further into the Forbidden Woods now that we've made it here. To see if we can find Makar. Straight away we get some green chews. I guess I could get all their... their green chew jelly from. But I don't really know if I should, since there's so many of them, I should probably just attack them once they show their heads. Okay, nice. Just do lots of spin attacks and we should be alright. Oh, I heard that. That means somebody dropped a pearl. Or orb, that's the one. Whenever a chew drops an orb, their orb actually has multiple chew jellies in it. Which is actually pretty good. So we got three out of that. Where's that heart? I need the heart. Give me the heart. But anyway, there's also a treasure chest up here that we need to grab. So let's do that. And we get the dungeon map. Same as every other dungeon map we've already collected. Just works the same way, just a different map. But anyway, let's get rid of these two. Grab that. I can hear you down there. There's already that pot down there that we know how to use it. Except it doesn't connect to anything because it, we haven't got that far in the dungeon yet. Did I just get... A special thing, or was that just magic? I think that might have been just magic. Also, I wanted to get that rupee, but I well, can't target correctly to backflip up there. Come on, out of the ground. I think we can also... Oh, I guess I can't do any... show you anymore. Uh, we can also use our leaf uh, when we're on the ground to blow wind. This doesn't use any magic, but it can also stun choose. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Now, this door over here has a little thing on it that we can't do anything with because it's got a shell out. So we need to be further away from it when we actually attack it. I guess uh, the grappling hook doesn't work. But over here, we have this little nut that we can pick up, which I think grows back as well over time. But if we go up here and then throw it, Kills the thing, blocking the door. It's also cool because the doors have the, the marking that the, the Deku shield from Ocarina of Time has. At least I'm pretty sure it's the same symbol. But anyway, let's jump down here and see what else we can do. We can use the grap uh, the the leaf to slowly descend. Slowly descend when we reach the ground so we don't take any fall damage. As long as we activate it. But now I have this stick and there's this thing over here. And if we throw it, just right, I'm pretty sure we can do this. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... Ow. Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure we can actually hit this... This, uh, enemy holding this chest shut. With the stick. It's just probably going to be very precise to throw it. Uh, but also we can also pick up items and rupees with... The, how did that not work? We can also pick up rupees and items with our sword when, we, when we're when we slashing around, so... If there's something just out of reach, you can use your sword. I'm so upset this, this is not working right now. Come on. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. There we go. I feel like there's another way you're supposed to do that, but... I just use the stick, so... Get a Knight's Crest! Very nice. It's a good reward. You can also use the Deccan Leaf to blow off around these leaf piles. So we can get what whatever's in them. Um, what's over here? Is that anything important? Oh, a fairy. Well, I guess I don't have any space for it in a bottle, but still. That's pretty cool that that's there. Now, let's get back up. Because we have these... These... Sprout bulb things. I can't actually remember what they're called already, which is kind of sad. They actually recover our magic whenever we're inside of them, just a little bit, but it, it recovers quite fast. Also, that tree looks like a a face. That stump. Now, where am I going? Not that way. This way. Must be careful of the spiky things on the sides of the room. 
the spiky roots. Because they will hurt you. Okay. Let's... Stun you. Careful not to hit the bomb. The, the bomb. I'm getting super confused, apparently. If I'm saying the bomb in a Zelda game. It's fine. But anyway, let's use this bomb. To... Open up that door. By killing your thing on it. I think there's also a... Uh, a chest in here if we go up further. So I'm going to grab that. Before we move on. If I can figure out where to go. Please, 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 please. Oh, I need... Oh. Oh no. Can I not get this at the moment? Or is there something... Oh, I don't know if I can get that treasure chest. Which would not be good for me. Also, there's a Deku Baba right up here. I need to be careful of, of that. Oh, he has a stick, though. Don't fall off. No. <laughs> That's fine. I think I can actually pick it up and take it with me. But then also, I don't know. Hey, drip pendant in that pot. That's good. Um, I don't think... I can get that chest then, at the moment, at the very least. I think you can take a stick with you whenever you hop out of a flower, but also I think you need, you drop it whenever you have, um, what's it called? Whenever you use your leaf, so that's not going to work. Well, that's a shame, because I want that treasure chest. Let me try. To see if I can grab one. Okay, stick. Grab. It's on fire. It's probably fine. Okay, hop in this. Hang on. Yeah, I do drop it. Okay. And I don't think it's possible to get up that far. While also... Holding a stick. Well, that is a shame, but maybe if I reload the room and then kill the thing properly so that gives me the stick in a better spot, then I can do that. Or I can come and do that later, which I probably will do that anyway. So, let's just move on for now. Now we can also use the Deku Leaf to blow that to move this platform over. And then, while we're on here, instead of just activating that again to blow it back, we can also blow it in the opposite direction to just get it moving. So there we go. Okay, now these pea hats we can actually take care of them, actually, if we use uh, Leaf to actually stun them. I don't know why I didn't remember that earlier when we were outside the dungeon, but I remember now, for some reason. But of course, I do want the golden feathers from them as well, so. Very nice. Ow. Not very nice. There we go. Just take out all these Deku Bubbers. And I think if we take out this one over here, when it dies, its sprout becomes an actual thing that we can use. Can I please get you? Thank you. Just a little bit of magic, that's fine. Let's go up this way then. And then up a little bit more. But also, I want to jump off and use my leaf to go down here into this hole because there's a, a chest down here that we can get. Is that close enough? I don't know if that's close enough. I'm just gonna let it go further. Okay, treasure chest. <laughs> With the red rupee in it, okay. Not entirely necessary, but still. I want every treasure chest in the entire game. I've played too many randomizers, apparently. Okay, now, this door is uh, unable to be opened, so let's get across to the other side of this room here. So that we can get what we need to progress. Just gonna do that. 
Very nice. Because in here is the nut that we need. Now we can also blow this nut around with the deckily, so we need to be a little bit careful. No! Well, I did a good job of that, didn't I? I need to press the right button to put it down. I'm so used to being able to just press A for everything. But also, I believe these nuts will actually break down over time. As you can see, it's actually breaking down right now. So you need to be quick to use it. Otherwise, it will just fade away and then disappear. As it is currently doing. Just going to watch how long it lasts. It does last for quite a while, apparently. Quite a while, apparently. Oh my goodness. Plenty of time, but still. There we go. It's gone. <laughs> okay, now I believe in here we have these spikes that will pop out of the ground whenever we're near them. Which means that we can't actually get to this nut here. Unless we use our Deku Leaf to blot out first when they're not around. So there we go. We can actually do puzzles like that. Let's keep going. And now we've made it to the main room. Lots of stuff around here. There's also stuff down there that we could do. Possibly, if we get to the right place. Ah, uh, let's see. Just need to grapple our way around. We have these platforms here that move after a few seconds, which is quite useful for us. Hey, there's a nut there. I could. No, I don't think I can get the the door down there yet. But I can get that door up here. There's also some rupees in here that we can only grab this time. Because they won't be around forever. It's not a lot of rupees anyway, though. Let's just go over here and break that. Before moving on, I want to go up a little bit more. So let's jump up here. Take me up. Jump across, and up to the top, because up here is a leaf pile that if we blow out of the way is the second pot. So we can get back to the beginning room nice and quickly if we want to, which means I could go back now and do the, um, the chest that we couldn't do before, but also I might have made a mistake by doing that. It's fine. I have a leaf. Everything's fine when you have a leaf. Uh, I'm going to go back there later on once we have other stuff. I'm done. There's a chest down there that I want to get. There's also these things that will cling on to you. I don't think you take damage, but they do slow you down. And the only way to get them off is to spin attack and that will also kill them, so that's good. You can also roll to get them off of you, but it's, it's only going to get them off for a little bit and then they're going to be on, on top of you. But whenever they're on you, you actually slow down the more that you have on you, so you need to be careful of having them on you when you make jumps like that, because I barely made it with that. So, yeah. I don't know if you can take them into other rooms as well, so you might be okay when it comes to that. But anyway, let's go around this spike maze, and let's blow that up and get whatever this is. I think this is probably the compass. Unless the compass is the second chest in this room, if I, if there is one. No, that is the compass. Cool. Now we can see everything in the dungeon now. Everything. There is a second chest in this room. Okay. But also, before we move on, you want to grab this bomb and throw it up there to blow that up. So that once we get round, we can actually do something. Just need to make our way through here, through this maze. I'm very good at running into these things though, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. They always appear just as I'm about to run into them. Ow. I think I need to go through here, probably. Ah, spikes everywhere. Okay, there we go. Let's get the second treasure in here. A small key. That means we can use that in the main room. Cool. 
Let's keep moving on. There's a few pots around here, but I don't know if they have anything special in them. Possibly just magic, judging from that one. Uh, but I want to get check the top one out. Probably right, right? Yeah, joy pendant. If there's ever one thing to check, it's the top one. Okay, let's go to the entrance of the room and let's head back. Because there's nothing else to do in here. Oh my goodness, these things. Oh my goodness, choose. What is happening with all the enemies right now? I don't know, but anyway. We have a small key, so let's use that over here. Okay. Now, is there... Anything in here that I need to worry about? That is my question. Is there anything in here that I need to worry about? I feel like there's a treasure chest hidden in here. That I always miss or something like that. But I can't see it, so I think I might be alright. Probably. It does feel like there's a treasure chest in here that I don't know about. And I don't know why I feel like that, but anyway. Let's just move on and ignore that, because it's probably nothing. And we have some new enemies that we can fight. These things will also spit the slowing down spiky enemies at us, so we need to be quick to take care of them so they don't do that. Anyway, let's head on up to the next level. Ah, oh, there's enemies. So many enemies. Oh, don't fall down. Good. I need to kill you. Thank you. I don't think there's anything on this floor right now, so let's head up to the next, next one. Okay, and I don't think we can go through this door because there are two things on it. And no way to kill them because the, those nuts can't even act, grab, but also they're the spiky ones. And the spiky nuts you can't grab because they just have items inside of them. Okay, it's mid-boss time. We have one of these things, but it has wings that we need to cut off. So that it can't fly. Ah! And it also has a few different attacks that it has. I just said the same thing twice, it's fine. But once we had hit it four times, it will have lose its wings and we can just take it out nice and quick. Oh my goodness, it's things are just slowing me down right now. Don't forget to parry to make yourself do good attacks, and we're done. Very nice. Let's grab its golden feather that I had. And grab the dungeon item. You got the boomerang. Set it and throw it. Target specific objects by holding down, hold it, holding the button you set to it to. And aiming at something until the red targeting cursor changes to uh, an action. You can target up to five objects at once. So yeah, we have the boomerang now, which is going to be very helpful, especially in that first room that we had problems in. But yeah, so now we can pull it out and... Oh my goodness, I wish... Is that really how that works? I think it's probably better to set that to R, actually, then. Just because you have to hold down the button and use the right stick at the same time. Which is just a bad combination if you're using X or Y. So now we can let go of that after targeting two objects. And it will hit both of those objects before returning to us. Unless it hits something in its path and it will go back to us immediately. Not hitting everything. But this is great because now a lot of the enemies that we've had trouble with are just a piece of cake. Even if we miss, it still does everything that we need it to. Just absolutely destroy all the enemies. I think the P-Hats also grew back their propellers though. We can take out the doors no problem and we are able to just do everything. We can also cut down the rope vine things holding things in the air. I think there's another treasure in this room that I want to get. So I'm going to head up before moving on. But it's, it's so cool. Also, we need to stop and then climb up. 
There was a spot that we could actually do this on Dragon Roost, but we never did that. Where you can actually just stop and climb up on the rope. Okay, all the way up. Climb up. Up please, Link. Thank you. Oh, there's actually a platform there where you could just jump onto. But that's okay because I'm going to use my leaf to make sure that I can jump onto it. And then keep going. It's so nice to have the boomerang now. It's going to make several things nice and easy. Joy pendant, very nice. We have quite a few of those now. But anyway, let's jump down. And keep going. Oh my goodness. This is back in the room that we were in before. Maybe this is where the treasure chest is that I never know about. Oh, actually, there's there's just a treasure chest in here. Cool. But we need to take out all of these spiky nuts so that they don't bother us. And then we should be able to just float across, in theory. I hope so, because I'm going to do it. Geronimo! Okay, we're good. Let's grab this, which I think is probably another joy pendant. Yep. And then... Yeah, we should be back in the main room now. Now that we have the boomerang, we should be able to do everything that we need to. Let's also, though, quickly, before moving on, head back to the beginning of that tree chest that we couldn't get before because we have the boomerang now, which means we can take out the enemy no problem. Please don't do that! Oh my goodness, really? 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 There's actually a few ways we can go here, because there's that door down there, which might actually be good to do straight away, or a few other things. Okay, let me check the map real quick. Okay, it's a few rooms back. But that might be okay? Maybe? Hang on. Let me go back just the normal way, because it will have I'll be higher up in the room. Which should make it easier. Can I... Oh, this is actually a lot further back than I thought it was. Oh, but there's a... Oh, that's, no, that's a nut. nut. That was a nut, right? Not a treasure chest. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's fine. I just panicked for a second. It's fine. Backtracking is a, a thing that exists. Come on. I could also just jump and glide cro across, but still. Oh, I ran out of magic. When you have no magic, the leaf actually just withers out and just is, is a tiny thing that you can't do anything with. So let's actually get a bit of magic back quickly before we go on. Okay. So you can't blow any air around without magic just on hand, so you need to be careful of that. Anyway, we finally can get this treasure chest that we saw earlier. It's probably not anything important, but it's probably a joy pendant, at the very least. At the very least. Please. <laughs> Please. Nope, it's a treasure chest! That's actually alright. I guess. <laughs> we'll have to get that then. Should have realized that it would be a treasure chest. There are quite a few of those that we need to get. I ran out of magic, but that's okay. I'll get it back. But first, I need to go back to the main room. Because we have options on where to go. And I feel like... Hang on. Let me check where... Okay, so that one's actually the door going to the boss. We probably want to go further in other directions first. Ha! Ah, I, mm, I... I messed up because I was trying to hit those. But I think I can do this from here, actually. We need to target all five of these things. I didn't hit all of them, but that's okay. If you don't hit them all, they will just reattach themselves to the ceiling. Oh, it's hanging very low now. Oh, there we go. It's coming back. It's coming back. So if I can actually get back up onto it and then go where I was trying to go when I fell off, we might actually be able to do things. Oh, I'm out of magic. I'm... Mm, I didn't think this through. Uh, is there a way for me to get my magic back at the moment? I don't think there is. I might just have to try and do it from up here, which is probably a better spot. Actually, no, there's... Grass, please. Grass, please. Please. Please, grass. Be kind to me. Be kind. 
Be kind. Nope, not kind. Not kind at all. Okay, let's just hit all of those from here, which should be a little bit easier. Just one more. There we go. Just need to cut all those in quick succession. Which drops the... the... that thing all the way down there. Well, I'm not gonna live. I lived. I was wrong about not living. Okay, thank you for magic. Full magic. There we go. We can also use our leaf to uh, activate this switch over here, which will allow us to uh, activate our leaf to float up using the updraft. It only lasts for a little bit of time, though, which is fine. There's also this thing over here, which you probably want to start over here, actually, by activating the switch from here and then using this bud. But in the meantime, let's go this way because we have a lot of these spiky dudes here. Official term, official name, which we want to take out with our boomerang because it makes it a lot easier for us. We can also uh, target items like rupees and hearts and magic uh, to pick it up from a distance, basically. It will just return the, the item of whatever it is to us, so. Anyway, we need to go over to this side. Getting past these things, which if they grab you, these hand tentacle things, I don't know what they are. If they grab you and hold you, you'll they'll drain your magic, so you need to be careful not to gra get grabbed by them. So much chew jellies. I don't think I normally get this much chew jelly, but it's okay. Let's jump across here and grab this joy pennant, probably. Nope, yellow rupee. That's fine. And then, let's get rid of these. Very nice. And before moving on, there's also another treasure chest across here that we want to get. By throwing a bomb over there. Oh, it's actually a, a room. I, I, I didn't realize this was a room. It's a shame though, because we need other stuff in the future to actually come back into this dungeon with before we can do everything. Also, the boomerang against the Baba, Boko Babas is incredible. Also, can I kill these things? Yes, I can. I, ca I can actually kill the uh, the, pea ha the pea hats with the boomerang if I use it twice, which is quite helpful. Okay. Can you please... Can you please... Thank you. Get gone. It's so nice being able to take those out so quickly. Now, where am I going? I think up here, probably. Now, what happens if I activate that? It brings that across, which is good. So, let's cross over here, then. Because we need to get rid of that thing on the tree chest. And we can't do that with the boomerang if we're too close. So, let's grab this bomb. And drop that in there. Which gets rid of the thing for us. There's also a tunnel that we could have taken to get in here, but then we couldn't get rid of the thing on top of the treasure chest, so... Everything is going according to plan. We get a treasure chart. Very nice. Now then, let's get back out of here. And I need to hurry up, because... I have other stuff that I need to do in real life. Which I just remembered, so... Let's just quickly... Oh, did the thing go up back up there? Why did you do that? How dare you? Need you down here, because if we go on this flower... And then use the Deku Leaf to blow around... We can go this way. Also, we can apparently take out this Octorok with the flower, which is pretty cool. Don't even have to worry about their projectiles right now. Which is quite nice. But anyway. Let's head over here. And looks like we're locked in. Now, am I crazy? Oh, no, I'm not crazy. We need to activate all these switches in here. Using the boomerang. Come on. 
There we go. We also don't have to be focused on the boomerang as it's flying around. And we can move separately from it, so. Anyway, let's get the boss key out of this, or big key out of this big chest. So that we can get to the boss room. But now... We have an extra fight here with some moblins. And the funny thing is, they can actually hit each other. So that's actually good for us, but also can be a little bit chaotic. Ow. Oh my goodness, their animations. Ow. Ow. This is not a great place to be in right now. Oh, I've got your thing. No, please. Huh, just get out. Just just move, just move, just move, just move. Huh. It's a good thing I have a fairy. Also, they can just attack you with their fists if they don't have a weapon on them. Okay, that's one. Just take out the second one. You can also use the boomerang to stun them, of course. And there we go. Okay. Well, there we go. Let's grab the stuff that they dropped and hopefully some hearts. Because I'm just so low on hearts right now. But I think before we finish the dungeon, I'm actually going to leave it here for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.